we see this as the cultural hub of the community and an asset that belongs to, to everybody. There's no locks on these doors, never has been. And uh, we, uh, we're the stewards and our family are the stewards and, and, and this is this is just part of Tucson and it you belongs enjoy to it, Tucson. We enjoy it. Shana and Richard Oserin have been stewards of Hotel Congress since 1985 and they'll oversee the upcoming 100th anniversary of Hotel Congress or is it Congress Hotel? It was referred to both ways. Yeah. I think initially a lot of people called it the Congress Hotel. I'm mm -hmm. saying back in the teens, in the, in the last, in the 20th century. Later it sort of changed and there was more, I think the stationery, some of the older stationery referred to it as uh, Hotel, Hotel Congress. Congress where summer spends the winter right. in 1919. Yeah. So. And that, all of those kind of paraphernalia are gonna come out during our 100 year right. uh, celebration. And many parts of the hotel remain exactly the same as 100 years ago. You know, the tile floor in the lobby. How about the original safe? And yes, the old phone booths. What is this? <laughs> this is how we used to make phone booths. Yeah, that's right. You'll also find the original switchboard, <laughs> which is still how guests call down to the front desk. Also in the lobby, the wonderful Southwest Deco style murals painted by Larry Boyce nearly 20 years ago. Everyone has their favorite. Above on the top there is an owl. And other people love the, the different suns and the different lighting at different times of what happens with these right. Art Deco kind of paintings right. are very Just interesting. Amazing. Just off the lobby is the iconic Tiger's Tap Room, where you'll always find Tiger serving Hotel Congress patrons since 1959. Next to Tiger is the famous Club Congress started by Shana and Richard shortly after they took over in the mid 80s. They take pride in supporting live music in Tucson. This is the second floor. These are where the, this is where the hotel rooms are. Okay. The third floor had also was a floor of, of hotel rooms, but it was lost in the fire. Yes, the fire in 1934. As guests were escaping the flames, Tucson firefighters identified two members of John Dillinger's gang. That led to the eventual arrest of Dillinger, an event Hotel Congress still commemorates every January with Dillinger Days. Some believe the hotel is haunted, not by Dillinger, but by at least three spirits who died in the hotel. Reader's Digest lists it as one of the 24 most haunted hotels in America. So, of course, we have our Ouija board here. Well, that's a good idea to have a Ouija board. <laughs> Is it haunted? Have you, have you experienced that? Um, our I daughter has. I never know what to say. <laughs> yes, it is or no, it isn't. But ghost tours come through. Right. People come through. Right. I mean, there's definitely activities. We've had to move we've had people Navy, from rooms. We've had Navy SEALs running out of the hotel in the middle of the night. I'm going to go with haunted. And we wrap up the tour back on the ground floor with a Tucson favorite the Cup Cafe, and Richard's handmade penny floor. My pennies were the, le the, the lead pennies, okay. but there are also Indian pennies in it's here. Nice There's, the, the, the lead pennies were 1943 when there was no copper right, right. during the war. Thank you very much to both Wonderful. of you. Pat, it was a pleasure meeting you. You're absolutely Arizona, and we appreciate the tour. Thank you very much. <laughs>